All right, YouTube, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a complete reset of your Mac. Now, this will work for Monterey, and I presume it's gonna work for any Mac that's got Monterey on it, could because this particular way of doing the reset is now something specific to Monterey. So before you do this, make sure you've backed off any user data that you may need off the machine because everything is about to be wiped out okay so the first thing we're going to do is go to the apple sign up in the corner there and then go to system preferences now when that's open come up to the system preferences up here click on there and then click on erase all content and settings and then what we're going to be asked for there is our password for the computer. This isn't your Apple ID password, it's the computer password. So go ahead and put that in. Then let's OK that. OK, now at this point, this is saying Time Machine Backup. You should back up your Mac using Time Machine before resetting it. Resetting your Mac will delete all media, data, settings, etc. And that's exactly what I've just said. Make sure you've backed up anything that you need to do. At this point, it's going to ask you, do you want to open up a Time Machine session in case you need to do the backup? And that's cool. Go ahead and do that if you need to. However, everything is going to be erased here. So I'm going to click Continue. OK. And I'm just going to acknowledge that it is going to erase all data for these two people. So me and me mate Gaz, all of our stuff's going to get deleted. That's cool. So let me do continue. Okay. Sign out of your Apple ID. Enter the password for the Apple ID for my particular user account at my email. So it's going to ask you now to just erase or not erase, but to basically disassociate your, your Apple user ID. So this is your Apple user ID password that you need to put in here. Okay. There's my password. Let me just enter that and continue. Right, so I'm gonna do this in real time as far as possible, just so people can get an idea of exactly what's gonna go on. Okay, so once again, you are about to erase all content and settings from this Mac. Okay, so we already know where we're up to with all that. So here, erase all content and settings. Let's just do that. Again, I'm not gonna skip past this because I wanna give people a good idea as to how long this stuff takes. Also as well, as you can see here, I'm on power as well, so I've got it plugged in. Also as well, this Mac at the moment is connected to the internet. It may be the case that you need it on, online as well to do this. Now, as we can see, the screen's just gone black, so presumably that's now gonna start booting down and then boot back up. There we go, there's our little Apple noise, so it's booting back up again. Let's just see where we get up to here. Like I say, as far as possible, uh, I'll try not to like speed through this. Uh, usually in the past, when you try to do this with M1 devices, you had to do a lot of messing around. Um, and it took like quite some time because you'd have to go into a particular mode from boot and stuff like that, which I think this might be going somewhere close to that now, or actually, no, maybe not. It's, it's actually got the icon for the mouse up here. so. Maybe this is actually bypassing some of the stuff that you would used to have to do when you entered that particular mode from startup. Okay, as you can hear, I'm just trying to pad this out here because I don't want to speed through if I don't have to. What it is actually, I've never done this before, <laughs> this particular process. I'm used to doing it the old way. But this looks like it's steaming through here. Okay, is that another reboot maybe? Let's see, it looks... No, that wasn't a reboot. It's just a continuation. Okay. Ah, right. Let me just have a look here. Okay, what it is, this indicator here looks like it's going extreme. Oh, no. Okay, I was going to say it looked like it was going extremely slow. Now, this is going through certain particular setup procedures. Okay. Right, so at this point here, okay, my mouse and keyboard won't work because they are now not attached via Bluetooth. So what I'm going to do is uh, click on English UK. You click on whatever your language is. Now, I'm not going to go right away through an entire install procedure here. I just want to make sure that we get to the point where we can say, yes, this is definitely wiped and it's now on a fresh install. So let's go here. Okay. Activate Mac examining volumes. 
Okay, let's see. Select the Wi-Fi network from the menu or attach a network cable to proceed. Okay, so what it is then, you need to have this online in order to proceed any further. If somehow you've got it connected via like an Ethernet, you know, through like US, uh, sorry, through, well, actually, yeah, either USB or Thunderbolt to Ethernet, you'd be laughing there. Nonetheless, I've got to come up here to Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi is up in the corner up here, so click on there and then join uh, your relevant uh, Wi-Fi network, which I will do right now. I'm blanking out the, the screen here because obviously I don't want people to see certain information going on here. And have I typed in the wrong password? <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. I think I might have typed in the wrong password there. Give us a second. <laughs> I think it's going to take a little bit of time to work that out unless I didn't do the wrong password. Hold on. Yes, I've selected. Okay, password was wrong. Give us a second. Right, that's what happens when you talk and are not concentrating on what you're doing with the keyboard. Okay, so Wi-Fi network joined, blah, blah. Hold on, wait there. Wi-Fi network could not be joined. Try moving closer. Okay, right. <laughs> this is a bit of a joke, give us a sec. Right, what it is, I've just tried to get onto a different network, which is too far away. So let me just do this one now. Let me go onto the repeater. Hold on, give us a sec. Right, okay. The reason why that didn't work just then is because I've got a repeater through the home and what it was, it was too far away from the original source. As we can see there, it's now connected. So all you do, just simply connect to your Wi-Fi network or Ethernet in order to do this activation process here. Again, I'll try and leave this to go in real time here. Um, hopefully, this is not going to take too long. Like I say, what it is, I've not actually done this particular process before. Oh, there we go. Your Mac is activated. It will restart in 56 seconds. Well, I'm just going to force a restart here. And then what we should be able to see is that when it switches back on, it should now take us to like, you know, a fresh kind of like setup screen. So let's see what happens here. There we go, Big Apple sound. All right. So that's chugging along nicely there as far as that indicator is concerned. Hopefully I don't have to keep padding, oh, slow down. I was about to say, hopefully I don't have to keep padding out this video, but there we go. Okay, so as we can see, we are now at the start of a brand new, fresh Mac system, as it were. So there you go, then. That is exactly how you reset when you're using Monterey. And like I say, I'm assuming this happens on anything with Monterey. It most certainly happens with all the M1, M1 Pro, and M1 Max devices. Okay, anyways, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to my channel, getting on the bell notification icon, especially if you're into stupid stuff with Mac and Apple stuff and things like that, iPads and whatnot. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care. And goodbye now.